They're going to give it to Landry. Jarvis Landry has a first down. Landry's still going. Look at those moves. Chased by six Panthers and finally tackled at the four. The hell with receiver stuff, man. This is my favorite juice Jarvis Landry play. This play, the whole design was hadn't worked all week. <laughs> no. If you're a defender, the eye candy of this play. There's a lot of elements to this play. I mean, you got the motion. You've got fake toss. And then the underneath handoff. I mean, they have no idea what's going on. You've got to be smiling right about now. No, absolutely. You have two guys come across the formation in motion. The underneath guy, the second guy you hand off to, and there was just clean sailing. But Tony was coming around, and he said he's on the safety. Yeah, I mean, in essence, I'm just taking the place of the back. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. And it becomes like a, a power, a lead, or something like that with the puller. Great blocking. Landry is a great open field runner. I scored, actually, um, in the beginning of the game. Mayfield under center, takes Perriman to the left, hands the ball on a sweep. Landry's got it. He's in. Touchdown. What a play. Callaway came to coach, and he was like, if we ran it from the 50, he, go, he would score again. And he called it. This is the second time he called it. So a play like this works. You would think you would double this up, come back to it. But did you come back to this play? We actually did. Yeah. So oh. we came back to it. But when we came back to it, that's when we did the double reverse pass uh. against the Bengals. And I threw the ball to Perriman. Here's Mayfield on a double reverse. Now a triple reverse. Now Landry's looking. He's going to go long and deep for Perriman. He got it! What a throw by Landry! So it was the same play, same concept, but then we did a double reverse pass. We put, just put another guy in, like, receiving the ball, and then put me on the backside by myself. The first play that he got in, the, you know, the yeah, first, it. his we first pass was, yeah. was to me. What's the play? Um, just a simple stick concept. You got the slant at the top, yep. the stick at the bottom. Zone coverage. Zone coverage. Just find the zone and set in it. Just trying to get the first pass, trying to get the ball out of his hands quick. The, the backer buzzed out, but he had been through the ball already. Yeah. And the ball literally went right past his head. And that ball had a lot of mustard on it. You're out of the backfield here. I mean, this is for you. For us, it was just simple. We knew in third and short situations, yeah. Oakland liked to play man. We tried to get the pick with Callaway right here. Yep. To make him bubble over the top. That's all you need. That's it, you know, and from there, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Jarvis Landry winds up in the backfield. They had it covered. One foot in the ground. Oh, I'm going forward. You can't tackle me. First down. That's like to be the punt returner right there. That's pretty much how the play was designed when we talked about it, you know, getting the ball in my hands and being the punt returner. You can do the same thing and leak you right through the backfield here. I mean, we've seen this is a concept. I see the Chargers doing it with Melvin Gordon with different backs against man coverage. You're right. just trying to run interference. Right. It's a, actually the same formation, same type of play that we ran against Oakland. I just ran the wheel out mm -hmm. the backfield. So this time I faked the wheel. Yep. And then came back backside. It space. Just... We're in space, in third and short. Make yep. it look easy. That's it. <laughs> He's got the snap, looks right, looks right, throwing down the sideline, and it's caught over the far right sideline. What a play, Landry holds it in. Spectacular catch. Yeah, that's a great throw. Spectacular throw, situation, you know, you're going to get man, third and one. So, I mean, it was this, and this was a simple concept, just uh, D slant. Man coverage, slant flat, I mean. Yep, I just wheeled it up, and just being on the same page, trust. When you didn't get it, you I got that. Then you go. You yep. just go. Yeah. Just gotta control it. Pitch and catch. Yeah, trust it. Well, it's pitch and catch, but I mean, he is yeah. a turn on you right here. So he's, yeah. you're open. Yeah, absolutely. Back turn. Yep. Wide open. Different. I thought the timing of this route with Baker is just exquisite. You know, it's a double move. These things don't time out as well when you're in motion. What are you thinking as you're coming in motion on this play? We wanted to, you know, attempt like we were taking a shot um, and run a double move, give me the ball early. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, was part of the plan. Freddie's playing that this week. Is this is this a crisp 20-yard comeback to 18? Is it that exact? Yeah. We got what we wanted. We know we, they, they were going to play zone to mm -hmm. this set. Look when this ball comes out of his hand. Yeah. Your back is still turned. 
now you snap it around. That's good coverage. Yeah. But the offense wins because of timing. But the same thing. Here you go in motion again. Ball's out. Easy. Stealing. Stealing. Seven on seven. Seven yeah. on seven. Yeah. What's impressed me most is you guys just being on the same page timing wise. Constantly over and over and over. We're just working on that timing because, you know, if that buzz defender don't get there and they're in three, that's cake all day. They just were playing a zone coverage and it was a soft zone. That's a lot to ask the linebacker to get out there that far in the flat and cover them. I mean, another old cut. It's just it's perfect. It's over and over again. I mean, it's over and over again. I mean, it's just a speed out. Yep. DB's not sure, you know, he hesitates for a second, and ball completed. Perfect timing. Juice, is there a difference running this route from that tight split as opposed to split out wide? You know what, it, al it almost makes it easier. You know, we have a couple different adjustments on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, but here, you know, it's all about the release. You know, it's about the angle that you, our departure. You know, and again, that's what we work. But off that same stem, you know, I've, I've ran the bend. Yep. I've ran the, the out and up, you know. I've ran the end, the dig, the big end, yeah. you know. Well, I know when Todd Haley was here and, you know, I kind of I went to his office and I asked him, you know, what can I do to get better, you know, and he told me perfect this, perfect yeah. that stem. Yeah. Okay. Um, because I could run all types of routes mm -hmm. from, from that. that. And make and, everything look the same. And make everything look the same, and I'll always get free access. You got a double move going right here. He plays this so well. I knew it when I when I hit the double move at, at the beginning and he didn't take it. Yeah. I knew he was gonna sit. That's kind of like DB 101, you know, when we're talking receivers and, and double moves and stuff. You know, if he once he sees that breakdown, then he knows something else is coming, especially when he's got some cushion to be able to turn and run on a goal. Do you feel him coming over your back shoulder Absolutely. right there? Absolutely. He sits on top of it, but still, the timing beats the coverage. Yeah. Just the, the word I've heard through all the years I've been around this league from wide receiver coaches detailing your route. Mm -hmm. And when I watched this route, yeah, he was well covered, but he made the play because the detail of the route was you went and got the ball. Yeah. And I don't know how many times I can show you 100 clips of guys running this route and doing this, mm -hmm. and a DB comes in and knocks the ball down. It's some low post basketball right there. Box yeah. him out and shoot hands. So there's just something things about this kid. When he starts moving, it's just Baker time. He never seems to drop his eyes. They all stay downfield. Absolutely. I, I kind of think that you always have to be alive with this guy. Like he can find you anywhere. Yeah. Juice, do you have scramble rules? get to different levels, find grass. Is there any anything in your mind where you know exactly what you're doing when Baker breaks the pocket? Yeah, absolutely. And um, usually on either Fridays or Saturdays, um, we, we work scramble drill um, after practice. And obviously, it's different levels. One guy high, he come back. You know, another guy go high. Everybody get on different Spread levels. Spread the field. Spread the field out. So this scramble drill, like he's got quick pressure coming off the edge. He feels it. Stay open, yep. you know. Find grass. That's it. That's yeah. it. He'll find you. Baker Mayfield creating a second opportunity play for his receiver. This is another type of scramble drill, like he's going to. It's part of our scramble drill right here. That's it. it. Yeah, go deep. Here's Mayfield back, looking, settles, up in the pocket, spins, spins again, looking. Once he puts his hands up, yep. yeah, that's he telling everybody he's going deep. So now we all just kind of play off the deep, man. So he's got his hand up. Yep. So he's going deep, so you're coming, you're coming back. Yep. So you got low, intermediate, and high. So you, yeah, you got layered. Still looking, firing. He's got a man open. It's caught. Landry. The coverage is dictating the throw, mm -hmm. right? With that safety inside leverage like that, you're kind of fading just a little bit. You're getting yourself just a little bit more room, right? Yeah. By the safety being low, I thought I would run past him and, you know, and it'll be with some air. Once the nickel blitzed, I knew I had an opportunity. You're looking back for it. Yeah. Like you're looking back pretty early yeah. right here. Yeah. Middleton is playing blind here. You see it, he can't see it. Right. 
I mean, when I was in college, even my receiver coach, you know, he would tell Mettenberger, Coach Cam Cameron was my OC yep. back then. Yeah. And, you know, he would tell them, you know, if the, the DB's back's turned, he's wide open. Yeah. You know, because they you can't see, they can't, can't react. See.